What's up, everybody? It's Young Cure, and welcome to a Metal Gear Solid 5 trailer analysis. Something that I wanted to do after the game's launch was reanalyze every trailer released for this game. What's the point of doing that, you ask? Well, as many of you may know, Kojima is a stickler for messages and clues that are hidden in plain sight. And Metal Gear is a stickler for plot twists and deception. And I think reanalyzing each trailer will give us some cool insight into what Kojima was trying to tell us during specific times throughout Phantom Pain's development history. Today's trailer reanalysis will focus on the very first Phantom Pain trailer, the one shown off during VGA 2012. Keep in mind that at this time, we didn't know that Phantom Pain was MGS5, although it wouldn't take long for people to figure it out. So anyway, let's take a look at this very first shot, which introduces us to who we would come to know as Evangelos Constantino, a doctor at Decalia Memorial Hospital who was entrusted with taking care of both Big Boss and Venom Snake. Something interesting to note about this character is that a lot of people likened him to Dr. Kyo Marv from Metal Gear 2, but as it turns out, there is nary a connection between the two characters. In the background, we can also see two very important posters. One is a flag of the UK, and the other is a map of what people eventually figured out to be Cyprus. Something interesting to note about Cyprus is that there are small regions of it that are considered to be sovereign British bases. So it didn't take long for people to figure out that this hospital was situated somewhere in UK territory Cyprus. Now, there are two clusters in Cyprus that mark UK territory, and most people assumed that the hospital was located in this one to the bottom left here, as there is a real-life hospital there called Princess Mary Hospital that looks very similar. But as we would learn when the game launched, the Kelia Hospital is actually located in the cluster on the right, very close to the shore from which Ocelot and Venom Snake take a whaling ship to the Middle East. Last but not least, for this shot, we have the dialogue that the Doctor utters, suggesting that whoever this character is has been in a coma for quite some time. You've been in a coma for quite some time. But that's as far as that goes, as Kojima's purpose with this trailer was to show off MGS5 without people knowing that it was MGS5, so they could judge what they saw with a clean slate mind rather than with preconceived notions. Moving along, we have the Moby Dick Studio logo, which is actually a very important hint regarding the true nature of Phantom Pain. In a previous analysis, I talked about the relationship between Ahab and Ishmael from Moby Dick and Venom Snake and Big Boss in Phantom Pain, and how the many references to the book hinted at the game's big plot twist all along. I recommend you watch that video if you haven't done so yet for further details, but yeah, the plot twist was sort of staring us right in the eye. Something else that the Moby Dick references hinted at were Phantom Pain's two main themes, race and revenge, which happen to be two central themes of Moby Dick as well. However, we wouldn't get confirmation of the game's themes until many months later. And here we have our very first look at Venom Snake's prosthetic arm. But even more important than that were the petals floating in the air, which were clearly references to Naked Snake's encounter with the boss during the events of Snake Eater. It's no wonder it took people almost no time to figure out that Phantom Pain was Metal Gear in disguise. We are then shown a bandaged man, who we would later come to know as Ishmael, who utters the words, On your feet, soldier, the whole place is coming down. On your feet, soldier, the whole place is coming down. Something that people caught on to very quickly was the words, On your feet, soldier, which were also spoken by Frank Yeager, aka Grey Fox, in the Metal Gear Solid digital graphic novel. On your feet, soldier. So most people assumed that this mysterious bandaged man was Grey Fox. The bandages also contributed to this theory, with people assuming that we were looking at a Grey Fox whose face had undergone reconstruction after having his nose and ears cut off when he was severely tortured during the Mozambican Civil War. But as we would come to learn when the game launched, Grey Fox was nowhere to be found in this game, and the bandaged man was actually Big Boss, who had undergone facial reconstruction to go into hiding. We are then shown bits and pieces of the hospital escape scene, which we are all very familiar with, during which we see glimpses of the mysterious protagonist. It didn't take long for people to recognize Snake's trademark mullet and beard, further adding to the evidence that Phantom Pain was actually MGS5. As if we didn't have enough evidence already, this is then followed by a shot of who we would come to know as Treti Rebionok, who we now know to be young Psycho Mantis. 
This is then followed by a few more terrifying shots, which we should all be familiar with by now. And what's funny is that throughout these scenes, we are shown constant looks at Ishmael's butt crack. This actually served as another hint, as many found this to be classic Hideo Kojima. Something else we get to witness throughout these scenes are traditional Metal Gear poses, crawling on the ground, crouching, stealth walking with knees bent, and whatnot. We are eventually shown our first glimpse of XOF, who are mercilessly shredding anything that moves in this hospital. Many people did notice, in fact, that the soldier's attire looked quite similar to those seen in Ground Zero's footage, so that was even further hint of Phantom Pain's true nature. Next up is this shot showing the elevator exploding, and it is at this point that if we freeze the footage at the right time, we get our very first glimpse of Venom Snake, who at the time we assumed to be Big Boss. Like Big Boss, this character has the mullet, the beard, and a damaged right eye, and the guy just clearly looks like Big Boss. The image gave people no doubt that Phantom Pain was indeed Metal Gear Solid 5. Also interesting to note is the fact that the impact of the blast doesn't momentarily leave Snake visually impaired like in the final game. If you recall, due to the debris stuck in his head, strong impacts to the head often result in Venom Snake hallucinating or being unable to distinguish between colors, which is represented in the final game, but not so in this trailer. If you ask me, this was likely done on purpose to avoid giving people hints. This is then followed by a scene showing a group of patients being shot down ruthlessly, with Snake in the middle of it all. Now, something that a lot of people noticed was that the bandaged man is shot down here, only to reappear moments later taking cover. This had many people assuming that the bandaged man could be a figment of the protagonist's imagination, but as we would learn in the game, the two bandaged men were two different people, and Ishmael was certainly not a figment of Venom Snake's imagination, but rather the real big boss. The next shot shows us a spectral creature who we would come to know as the Man on Fire. It didn't take long for people to notice how much this man resembles Snake Eater's Vulcan, or to notice how the man being on fire alludes to how Vulcan died by fire. We are then given a clear close-up of the soldiers invading the hospital. Once again, it was immediately clear that the soldiers here were wearing very similar outfits to the XOF soldiers from Ground Zero's footage, serving as further evidence that Phantom Pain was MGS-5. We are also given a clear close-up of the Man on Fire, making it even easier to identify the spectral creature as Vulcan, who was somehow risen from the dead in demonic form. Now here is an interesting shot. What people saw here back then was a man resembling Raiden wearing an XOF outfit who was somehow set on fire. The resemblance to Raiden further served as evidence that Phantom Pain was Metal Gear related, but as we know now, it turns out that the model for this particular character was swapped in order to avoid spoilers. When the game launched, we would come to learn that this character is in reality quiet prior to receiving parasite therapy and gaining powers at the cost of normal human functions, and this right here would be the cause of it. In fact, if we rewind and take a look at this shot of the trailer here, you will also notice that the window that Quiet falls to is completely fine, when it should in reality be broken and on fire. Model swapping would be something that Kojima would do a lot down the line in order to hide certain secrets and avoid certain spoilers. As if things weren't trippy enough, the trailer proceeds by showing us the man on fire riding a demonic unicorn of sorts. Interesting to note is that Young Mantis is nowhere to be seen like in future footage of the same scene, so more evidence of model swapping. We are then taken to the final scene of the main part of the trailer which shows us a giant flaming whale annihilating this poor XOF helicopter. A clear reference to Moby Dick, especially when you consider how Venom Snake's helicopter is known as Pequod. You could almost say that this scene is representative of Moby Dick annihilating Captain Ahab and crew during their voyage to kill the great white whale in the book. The trailer then cuts the confirmation regarding the game's identity that's hiding in plain sight. It actually didn't take people very long to realize that the words Metal Gear Solid V or 5 fit perfectly in the gaps of the Phantom Pain, pretty much confirming the true identity of this game. A clue hiding in plain sight, a common theme in Kojima's master plan for Phantom Pain's marketing campaign. Finally, we are shown a post-title shot here where we see yet again a clear shot of Snake's trademark mullet and beard. But even more important is this protrusion here. We didn't notice it at the time, but this would turn out to be the large debris stuck in Venom Snake's head that would give him that demonic look along with mental and visual impairments. 
This shot also shows us young Mantis floating in the air alongside the XOF soldier. At the time, it was possible to conceive that he was on XOF's side, but we would later find out that Mantis would be greatly influenced by those with rage and lust for revenge, and during the hospital scene, Mantis was basically interchangeably being influenced by both Venom Snake and the Man on Fire, aka Volgan. This shot is then followed by Phantom Pain's iconic phrase, V has come to. V has come to. At the time, we didn't know what it meant, but now we know that it's the code that Zero designated for when Venom Snake woke up, with the V standing for Venom Snake. This would also explain why the Roman numeral was used in the title. Not only does it designate Phantom Pain as the fifth numbered entry in the Metal Gear series, but it's also a subtitle of sorts indicating that the game is about this man, V, Venom Snake, the manifestation of us, the player. The V could also be said to represent the fact that Venom Snake, and in turn us, the player, is the fifth member of the Snake family. Naked Snake, Solid Snake, Liquid Snake, Solid Snake, and Venom Snake. Now, for those wondering, what about Raiden? What differentiates him is that his title of Snake didn't come with a first name, so to speak. He was simply known as Snake, and even then, only for a short while before switching his name to Raiden. The other five snakes, on the other hand, were always referred to as Snake, and they all have a first name to go along with that. Naked, Solid, Liquid, Solidus, and Venom. Pretty cool stuff indeed. And thus, the trailer ends, and with that, I would like to conclude my reanalysis of Phantom Pain's VGA 2012 trailer, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you for tuning in. Let us know in the comments below if you noticed anything that I didn't, and share with us your thoughts about this trailer and the theories you had at the time. And to be further updated on all things Metal Gear, stay tuned right here on Yong Yeah. I'll see you guys next time. Yong out!